Atavistic Regression, Wikipedia Article Audio Atavistic regression is a hypnosis-related concept introduced by the Australian scholar and psychiatrist Ainsley Mears. Mears coined his term from the English atavism, which is derived from the Latin atavis, meaning a great-grandfather's grandfather and, thus, more generally, an ancestor. As used by Mears, for example, his 1960 work A System of Medical Hypnosis, the term atavistic regression is used to denote the tendency to revert to ancestral type. Notes Mears held the view that when in hypnosis, the higher functions of the subject's brain were switched off, and the subject reverted to a far more archaic and far less advanced mental state, something which significantly altered the subject's cognitive processing so that they readily accepted internally consistent, literal logic without any of the normal filters and verifications against the objective facts of the real world. Later, Mears came to believe that it was the atavistic regression rather than the treatments that went with hypnosis that helped the patient. He concluded that the regression enabled the mind to rest and restored its equilibrium in a way that was analogous to sleep. On one hand people who did not spontaneously undergo this process became tense and unable to let their guard down. On the other hand, helping people to learn how to experience this state a couple of times a day seemed to facilitate mental coping which Mears believed was due to sufficient mental rest. By this time he had completed a transition from hypnosis in which he took a large role to the smaller role of facilitator showing patients how to induce this state themselves. He referred to this regressed state by different names at different times e.g., relaxing meditative experience, relaxing mental exercise, deep relaxation, atavistic regression, mental ataraxis. Contemporary teachers of his method may refer to this as stillness meditation, stillness meditation therapy although some use other terms. Some other traditions use the term stillness meditation and these unrelated systems have little in common with Mir's method.